We start with breaking news. R. Kelly sentenced to 30 years in prison. He was convicted of racketeering and sex trafficking in New York last year. The singer still faces trial in Chicago later this year. CBS 2's Elise Preston was in court for the sentencing this afternoon, and she reports from Brooklyn. Dana and Jim, shortly after that sentencing came down, we saw a crowd of victim supporters and R. Kelly supporters arguing right outside the courthouse, reacting to both the news and what we heard in court today. Survivors, alongside their attorney, spoke about R. Kelly's abuse after delivering victim impact statements to the court. I was an up and coming singer. I was a girl full of life and promised just a mentorship and quickly turned into I would just say a sex slave. The three-time Grammy winner was sentenced to 30 years in prison for running a criminal enterprise to sexually exploit young women and children. I stand here very proud of my judicial system, very proud of my fellow survivors, and very pleased with the outcome. 30 years did he do this, and 30 years is what he got. Allegations against Kelly go back decades, but resurfaced in the 2019 docuseries Surviving R. Kelly. Wednesday, one victim using the singer's nickname called the 55-year-old, quote, a Pied Piper who lured children with his money and celebrity. He was a skilled sexual predator who preyed on his victims, and after grooming them, he inflicted significant emotional and sometimes physical harm. Kelly did not testify during his trial, nor did he make a statement ahead of his sentencing. His lawyers argue that he had been sexually abused as a child. Obviously, he's devastated. 30 years in prison is like a life sentence for him. The defense team used Kelly's alleged trauma to push for a lighter sentence, while prosecutors recommended at least 25 years. We are confident uh, in our arguments that we raised in our post-trial motions that although they didn't persuade the district court judge, that they will persuade the court of appeals. The singer faces another federal trial in August on child pornography and obstruction of justice charges in Chicago. The U.S. attorney told reporters that he hopes R. Kelly sentencing shows that abusers, no matter how rich, famous, or powerful they are, must be held accountable. Dana and Jim. Elise, thank you. Besides the Chicago charges, Kelly also faces prostitution charges involving a child in Minnesota.